Zanzibar family, it is back there at the exquisite resort. We will get there one day. And right now, family, we are cruising through Nungui on the way to Amman Beach Bungalows. Our beach resort, because we we're going to be right there on the beach enjoying tropical paradise. As soon as we turn off and, and hit that dirt road, you know we're there. Lots of construction, lots of work being going on. The same thing when we was in Arusha. So after a few years, the country is going to look completely incredible. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Oh, this is the massage room. Yes, I spoke to you about that. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And so these are, these are some of the, the resorts that are here. Get ready for a free bump massage. Okay. My good brother, if you can just tell us something about Nungui. Yes. <laughs> if you can share a little, you know, just a little, a little information uh, as we get ready to. Good, okay. Welcome to Nungui village. Uh, this is a village located at the, the north tip of the island. They depend much on fishing and tourism businesses. Okay. And uh, as I spoke to you, that at the end of the main road, there is another one, which is a bumping one. Okay, and now this is the beginning of the massage. Okay, Stephen, this will wake you up. <laughs> yes. Okay, the beginning of the massage. Mm. So a quick question, let's maybe a silly question, but why not pave the road since all of these incredible resorts are on this road? Uh, I think our policies, policy, not yet good enough to make them people do it, you like it or not. <laughs> all you gotta do is tax all <laughs> yes. the like you gotta double yes. tree and a few resorts right We are still right welcoming there. them, so we have to be polite to them. Get in that road tax. But we, yes, we wait for the day, <laughs> we wait for the day to say, you like it or not, do it. Not yet, not yet, but otherwise, so far, not good. Mm, mm, not good so far. I have a question. Yes, please. You said that when the Arabs first came here, mm. that there was no religion. Yes, true? that's true, yes. They didn't have traditional African traditions? Uh, maybe some traditional, but no Christianity, no Muslims yet. But they did have... The locals had kind of believings, yeah, but, but not believing on Christianity, not believing on the uh, Islam. Oh, so there's no organized religion, but what about yes, what about what about the native cultural religion or what we call it? What, what, what's our proper terminology? Um, For traditional, traditional, and traditional, traditional you know, African ants. We believe in the, uh, nature was a part of the religion, and uh, instead of uh, the Christianity bringing mm. angels, they had wishes, and uh, it was a them celebrating nature. And that God was the ultimate. It was like that. Um, before the Arabs came here, we had some kind of, like what you spoke, you speak about the tradition, oh. religions, but you know, Christianity yet, you know. Yeah, so the Arabs are the ones who came to tell us there's something extra which have to be believing in, that's what I'm and which was Islam. When they came here, they mm. felt like there was no religion that they understood. Mm. And they misunderstood what the native people were doing, so 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, you know, most um, African countries throughout the country, they have their own traditional religion. Traditional, traditional, yes. You mean traditional religion, yes. And there was nothing wrong with it. Yes, and they, they, they thought that was fine for them, but the Arabs are the ones who can tell them that. Yeah, you're doing this wrong. You have to take this one, which is... We didn't understand. That mm, was yeah, yeah. Mm. They were just trying to work their control, and that's uh, the best way to yes, indoctrinate yeah. people. Yeah, change our way of believing, and then today we are a Muslim. This is a new, yes. this is a new hotel that popped up, right? I've never seen I this one. I think so, yes. Mm. Mm. So, a nice little balcony view. So family, this is an interesting road. A whole lot of construction going on. Hey, Juma, look to the left. My Tyson. That's our party supply. Beautiful greenery in the village of Nungui. So once we get down and turn from this road, we should be there. But yes, family, this beautiful island will be a lot more developed as time go along. And I can see these uh, roads being smoothed out. That way you can get to your tropical paradise resort. So we got here. Drive to all the struggle, by the time you get to the resort family, it's gonna be worth it. This tropical beauty. It's more interesting. Christmas trees. Go 
they don't make flowers during Christmas time. Oh. Got your sushi up there? Where? Right right at the top right there. Not the very top one. Yeah, I even checked that resort out. It was it, it wasn't bad, but yeah. such a fool. <laughs> yes family, so this area is filled with beach resorts. It's packed all in. But what you do wanna honestly get when you come here is you want to get one right on the beach so you don't have to be like that white man who's just walking from his guest house all the way down the beach you just want to walk out of your room and go right to the beach it's always things being worked on, look at that It's amazing because all of these resorts are in this little tight little area. And yes, we are almost there. Welcome to our tropical paradise. Yes. Welcome to our Jamaica in Africa. Yes. right there where we can just go right across and get access to that rooftop and enjoy an incredible view. Mm -hmm. 